Hola, mi nombre es Pascal. Eh, y yo soy Luciana ah. y somos los codirectores de la película Al Sol Lejos del Centro. Que está compitiendo este año en, lo, en Berlin Alley Shorts y está nominada al Teddy Award. Hello and welcome to the 38th Teddy Award. My name is Jan Felix Wuttig and today I'm here with Luciana Merino and Pascal Viveros to talk about their film Towards the Sun, Far from the Center. Luciana and Pascal, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having us. It's very beautiful to have you here and thank you so much for the film. I think it's a very gorgeous depiction both of two protagonists and also of a city as itself. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we could start with you telling me about how the idea for the film came to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Entendí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí, La idea partió porque en Chile hubo una revuelta social en donde eh, por primera vez creo que como país nos detuvimos a imaginar una ciudad nueva. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so in Chile uh, there's like an idea that they wanted to um, present or like form a new city and just view it from a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, o sea, y eso dado por una revuelta social, like, como una revolución and that for more of a um, social revolution kind of way, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 2019. 2019, yeah. Um, um, bueno, y en el 2019 empezó esta revuelta y toda la gente salió a la calle eh, y nosotros obviamente estábamos ahí y ahí, com esto no está en la película realmente, pero ahí empezamos también como a pensar y a cuestionarnos más sobre, la, sobre el lugar que habitamos. So in 2019, these whole like revolutions or like riots started, and they mm -hmm. were in the middle of them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um. Eh, creo que también es importante que creamos, creo, un a través de lo formal de la película, de la técnica, eh, queríamos crear una nueva ciudad eh, como un espacio donde ellas pudieran existir y nuestro deseo también. Okay. With like the film, the short film, they wanted just to represent a new world, a new form where they could like live in, like those two people where mm -hmm. they could like freely live in. And yeah, that's just what they wanted to create after, um, with this new film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I th yeah. Yes, just the other thing that it's important for the uh, Initial idea is that we, uh, of course, we live in San Diego for a long time. Luciana is from there. I'm from the south, but I've been living there for like nine years or something. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, we love the city and we hate it a little bit too. <laughs> but yeah. the, the relationships <laughs> are like this. <laughs> um, so we we walk a lot and and go to just on a walk and know the streets and know the different places mm -hmm. and and for us it's a very interesting city yeah yeah and i think because the hate 
we trying to invent, create a new yeah. city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I think uh, the film in Contra, in Contra, finds finds uh, the tenderness of the usual life, like see a pigeons or people in the street getting mm -hmm. in love. It's important to show uh -huh. yeah, yeah. for us. I also felt that the film has an incredible tenderness because mm -hmm. you, you know, you you follow the camera, kind of moving around the city, and you have this incredible bustle of sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, in between that city, you find these two protagonists walking around it, and you have this whole lot of humanity around them. Um, did you already have? shots in mind when you started working on the film? For example, specific buildings or streets that you wanted to follow? Mm. I, th I think we have like more, uh, more the idea of what we wanted to represent, mm -hmm. like what kind of buildings that are usual in San Diego, what kind of, of houses or, or streets. Um, but we have something that came very easy, like to get the, the image, but some of them also were, we had a long time uh, um, locacionando. Um, finding places. Finding the, the, the spot places. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we also was to read the score for us, the city again, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. and, and it was like a long time of that, like yeah. just going to places and watching and and see where where we we will like uh, represent what what we want to represent and 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 search for places that that have a lot of things happening too, yeah, yeah. because the city is like that. Yeah, it's always. Yeah. A lot of things happening. Yeah. And this, the, the short films take like four or five years uh -huh, um, to, to wow. record. Yeah. And I think it's super important in the short film, um, the thing we want to find like little words, uh, words in mm -hmm. this big city. And we're trying to, to find places, who, encontrar lugares mm -hmm. que. Um, Que sean micro ciudades en el fondo y que tengan su propia lógica. Okay, so essentially they wanted to find like in the cities like little like microbiomes where they can just see new life and just yeah, and like a new little city in the big city mm -hmm. as well. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So like kind of small spaces or small worlds within uh -huh. one world, like little cities in the city. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. a puzzle, yeah. or uh -huh. matryoshkas, more <laughs> like. Um, so it, it was also important to you after the riots to show sort of a city that, that can give love or that can be tender or that can be peaceful? Yes, I, I think um, after the riots we begin to think in another way the city, like places could be our places mm -hmm. and not like the what the establishment says the places are yeah. um, so it was like em empowering to to think that this is ours like yeah. Yeah. this is our city this uh, belongs to us. Yeah. so and then of course uh, when you are in love or you are uh, Falling in love, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the city becomes too transforms too. Yeah. Like the, the 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 landscapes are different. The feeling is different, uh, and it's I think it's beautiful when uh, because of love we think in some place or or in a different way. Mm -hmm. and if you're not in love. True. Um, yeah. so, so that that tenderness it, it's there too. Yeah. Like the transform the transformation of the city because yeah. of that. Exactly. I mean, we we have a shot in there where they are just kind of reuniting on top of a, I don't know what it is, a, a water tower or a, a gas yeah. tower. Yeah. Which, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Which otherwise would be, you know, something industrial, something uh -huh. that is being yeah, yeah. used. And by 
by them kind of entering up there, walking up the stairs, it becomes sort of a romantic place, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you also have these scenes when they are walking through the cities and they, they come by sort of small societies, you know? Mm -hmm. People kind of, I don't know, chanting or playing in the mm -hmm. streets, <laughs> which is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that impressed me as well was kind of the, the techniques mm -hmm. behind the film, you know, because it's, well, first of all, visually, there's mm -hmm. an element of the, of the zoom where the, where the focus mm -hmm. is in such a way that you, um, it's clear enough that you have all the important details, mm -hmm. but it's also vague enough that it looks a little bit like a miniature. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have the sound, which is uh, very precise. Mm -hmm. You hear people chatting or playing, or mm -hmm. you have you know, clattering on top of a roof. Mm -hmm. um, how did you go about f employing these techniques and sort of developing the film mm. visually and, and acoustically? Yeah. Um, I think we start like uh, we found super uh, interesting. Um, uh, sí, como muy interesante y e intrigante eh, usar el zoom porque te permite de, como puntualizar cosas y achicar la mirada. Okay, so they wanted to use the zoom as a technique because they like how it just pointed out and just focused on a certain like um, scene or just like cinematic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sí, y... Um, I think we need to eh, mirar de lejos. Hay algo con la distancia que también te permite acercarte, eh, como si tuvieras que achicar los ojos para poder ver algo que yeah. sucede. So the distance, like the long distance, is um, something that helps you observe, like the big picture, and just that you really see things and just. Yeah. Uh, sí. Yes, for, I think for us. Uh, the 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 formal thing like the we're just gonna use this kind of uh, filming or this kind of images mm -hmm. uh, was super important. I mean, yeah. it was like one of the first ideas too when we started to think yeah, how to film start. Co mm -hmm. how to film a city that we walk every day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was very necessary to find some way. To, to film it, not like going in the street walking. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yes. Um, and for us, it was very interesting what happened with the blur mm -hmm. that it has, like the, the gradation of a very clear images. Mm -hmm. uh, because in between the blur, there is something that, that appears too, like uh, in between the, the images. It's mm -hmm. like the image could like breathe a little more. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. true. And we have only, I think, one shot that is that is very near to the protagonist, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which is beautiful, sort of film language wise, because it shows you, okay, this is important. Mm -hmm. These are our, our protagonists. Uh -huh. But other than that, we also kind of see the city and mm -hmm. see them in, in the environment. Um, how did you go about the cooperation between the two of you? Did you have like certain aspects that you would take, or s did you just work together on every aspect of the film? Or mm. see, um, I think it was a collaboration of the start because we mm -hmm. lived the this revolution super close, mm -hmm. and we start uh, writing like. Um, como un modelo de hacer la película y después la fuimos descubriendo. Okay, so first they like started writing, but then it wasn't just writing because it became like an experience, like an adventure, and they did that together, and that was really important to them because they just lived the revolution really close to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I I think it was a, a great uh, complementary thing. Like there was things that Luciana was thinking that I wasn't putting too much attention and and mm -hmm. the same the other way like yeah, um, yeah. 
Yes, I think it worked well. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, Pascal was in the camera and was like directing by WhatsApp yeah. because we are super far. Yeah. Like, yes, come on. we had a like, WhatsApp group. <laughs> on. It was crazy. <laughs> well, you run, you <laughs> with the bike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, True. Yeah, so in the in the set itself, Lucina was more in in the WhatsApp, mm -hmm. and I was more in the camera. But I think we were like both doing a little bit of everything too. Yeah, yeah and uh, I think the literary re uh, reference, like poems or uh, cuentos, tales, like stories, like tales, 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 tales yeah. as more, yeah. uh, was super important because we are reading this and super complementary for then take the images and discover like the risk a new city. Yes, li like, like I read something, I passed to her and yeah. when she read something that could work, to, went back to me. So yeah. it was like a, just a, a true exchange. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the words were super important because yeah. uh, I feel there was the start point, like put words and for our uh, imagination mm -hmm. and for find the world um, uh, through these two people's getting in love. Yeah, exactly. You have this quote in the beginning, beginning which is, I dreamt with future cities built only for us where the sun was trying to find us. Mm -hmm. And that is really a very beautiful way to start the film because you you already know how it's going to feel. It mm -hmm. feels very close to you. It feels very centered around two people experiencing the city, but sort of for each other, you know? It's not mm -hmm. just like a large city of millions of people. It's kind of a city through the eyes of, of, of mm -hmm. two people. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Now I have to ask, after making the film for such a long while, are you already working on a next project and are you going to take something from this project that, that may be in connection with yeah. the next or with the future? Yeah, uh, I think we have different projects. We don't want to work together in the next project. Uh -huh. Everyone has, oh, sorry. Yeah. Everything <laughs> has, <laughs> cada uno tiene su, su proyecto. Yeah, and I think, yeah, I have a next project. I think the la cosa que voy a sacar desde este proyecto es no tenerle miedo al azar y solo como arriesgarse. Uh, Se refiere al azar con así, como, random, así. Claro. Uh, so the thing she takes out of this uh, movie or this experience is just that um, you can be random, you can just take it out and just Como dejarse it. llevar. And you can just go with the yeah. flow and just yeah, yeah do something random yeah. and just yeah, yeah just do it <laughs> yeah and find yeah. like the risk and the images como uh, found this in the city and places too yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah and for me i am I'm, I'm i've been always working like in 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 the landscapes that are surround me, surrounding me, mm -hmm. uh, the place where, where I've been living, and, uh, and I think that's going to keep. I'm, I'm still on it. Uh, yeah. Not in, in this. Not I'm not. I'm not continuing this this specifically project. Yeah. But yeah. always I am always thinking is the places that are around me and and how I am filming that uh, for me the. the the possibilities of, of the digital cameras yeah. are, yeah. are very important. Yeah. yeah. I think for you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And I was thinking too, it's important for me to uh, show a world where the people like win to mm -hmm. the system. Like, yeah. yeah, I win because I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And this tenderness and risk and through a formal way. Yeah. Uh, not just saying all happy endings, <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, I think uh, it's important to show this because um, we live in a society super sad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to create the space for the people can 
live their lives um, this through uh, through the spaces too, to yeah. building new cities, yeah. new landscape and ways to get out and run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True, yeah. To reclaim the cities basically through, and then sort of rebrand them as, as mm -hmm. something that, that gives you joy, basically, yeah. that shows joy. All right. Well, <laughs> well thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Luciana and Pascal, thank mm -hmm. you so much for coming over and having oh, this conversation. You. I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> yes. And uh, I wish you all the best for the premiere and for your time at the Berlinale. Thank you so much. For us, it's a little bit, still a little crazy to be here, so <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I think, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I firmly believe you'll do just fine and the people are going to love it. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.